What's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing, unpackaging more like it, and review video. And I've actually used this for several days now. Now I do love it, but I'm going to tell you all about it and exactly what you're getting yourself into before you do decide to purchase it. Now again, just like all my products, I link it below in the description box. So without further ado, let me go ahead and explain what this exactly is. This is an external mobile memory for any lightning port for Apple products. Now let me explain a little bit more, okay? So you're looking at this little thing right here. This is 64 gigabytes of external memory, okay? And you're like, what in the world? Explain more. Absolutely, I'm gonna explain more. Okay, it comes in this little slip here, just like a memory card, and here it is. I'll get close-up shots. You pop this off, and there is your lightning memory port, okay? So the first time ever using this, all I did, I slipped it in my iPhone 6, any phone, any iPad, anything that has a lightning port connector. iPod, iPhone, iPad. Let's see here, let me read off exactly. iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, 6 Plus, 6, 5S, 5C, 5, iPad Air, iPad 4th generation, iPad mini with retina display, iPad mini, iPad touch 5th generation, iPod nano 7th generation. You guys get the point. Lightning connector. Again, before you order it, just check and make sure your device is compatible. All right, so without further ado, guys, the dimensions, it's very small, 59 millimeters by 28 millimeters by nine millimeters. Weight is 15 grams. And again, if you made the mistake, this is gonna make life a lot simpler. If you made the mistake and ordered, like I did, a 16 gigabyte iPhone, well, as you know, you eat up memory taking video, taking photos, text messages. Guys, I've shook my fist at this phone so many times. I don't know why I ordered the 16 gig. It was cheaper, obviously. But this allows me now, 16 up here, 64 here. What is that, ladies and gentlemen? That's a lot of gigabytes, you know what I'm saying? So let me exactly show you again. So the first time you use it, you stick it in your lightning port and it says download the app. You download an app, right? So you take everything through an application. So I just wanna make that clear. So you fire it up. I'll show you guys the application. It's called iDiskMe and you just allow iDiskMe to use your camera, etc. And then there's this little menu in here. I'll show you guys a close-up shot. Now, a couple things I do want to mention is it's so much easier, right? So check this out. So after you're done taking photos, you pop it out, okay? Then you flip it around and you push this little slide bar. What is that right there, guys? That's a USB port. You plug that directly into your laptop, PC, desktop, you guys name it. Boom. Transfer all the files to your PC. Amazing. So if you guys are on vacation, you run out of, if you're vlogging on your phone, if you're filming YouTube videos or whatever, we just scored 64 gigs of memory, guys. You plug that guy on in. Once you're done, you plug it on out. Let me get a close-up shot of the menu and the product so you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, guys, here is the iDisk application here, and let's take a look at the menu here. Okay, so let me go ahead and actually plug in my device here. And let me show you that lightning cable here, lightning port, I should say. That plugs directly in the back. And again, once you're ready to go, after you remove it, you slide that USB right here. Absolutely nothing on the back, just the slider up front. Again, very simple, but 64 gigs. Let's go ahead and look at this right here. So let me do show you something, guys, is that with the photos here, right? Works absolutely fantastic as we can see here. But let me do show you one thing. You can have flash, you can turn it around to selfie. Let me go ahead and hit that, sorry. There we go, there's us and the camera. We're gonna go ahead and flip it back around. You can cancel it and then you slide it over for video. It's kind of hard to see, but it says video photo right there. So now it would be on video with the countdown, with the counter timer. All right guys, I wanna show you something real quickly here. It looks a lot better. Now, of course, you can use it in picture mode like this. But what I actually found, Rotate it first like this, then hit film or video and take your pictures like this. I personally think it comes out a lot better this way and then go ahead and come down here, 
save your photograph, etc. So go in landscape mode first and then choose your video or photo options and it works out a lot better. Now let me show you one thing that I did notice, right? So when I go to turn it like this, see, it goes like out of landscape mode. I'm not really sure how it computes that, but then it's all mumbly jumbly, right? So I have to push cancel and then I go up to photos. Now, once I take a photo, only other problem is, well, this says disregard, this says keep, but it's in Chinese, unfortunately. So we do need to update for the app, but you just hit the right one. And then what it does is it go ahead and locks it and puts it in your iDisk memory here. Here's your iPhone memory, here's your iDisk memory. Okay, you can have text, you can have music right here. You can have your settings, which is, you know, nothing really much in there. It's version 1.3.6. Here's your, you know, uh, film. Here's your photos that I've taken with it right here. And then you see little thumbnails all right here. I'm doing a lot of eBay auctions there. That's what we see there. And then, of course, photo and video. Now, again, a couple little issues again. Now, check this out, right? So I'll take the photograph, but... And then, but check this out though, right? So it does take very nice photos, right? But for some reason, I think the cropping is a little bit different than your iPhone camera, okay? So let's look at iPhone camera. I am in square mode there. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the size. So right now we see the chair, we see down here, okay? We're gonna hold the camera very still and we're gonna go ahead and flip over to iDisk me here. And let's see if that is the same size photo. See, no, it's not. It's zoomed in a little bit, unfortunately. See, we barely can see any paperwork down here, and we see the chair, and it seems like it's just zoomed in too much. And you can zoom in more, which is cool, but it just, it almost like it automatically zooms in when you do fire it up. Let's check out video. I honestly haven't checked out video yet. Okay, you can zoom in with video as well, which is really cool. But again, you know, we got our countdown timer. We can do selfie mode on the video as well for vlogging, flash. But like I just mentioned, unfortunately, it seems like the camera automatically zooms in a little bit. So, right, so check this out. So we take one photo and then we say yes, I want to keep it or disregard it, and then you go back to menu. And then you got to hit it one more time for menu. It's not that big of a deal, but you know, again, those are my only cons of it right there. But for 64 gigs of external memory and you don't have to delete anything, that's pretty cool, not to mention it is so darn small right there. So guys, now what I do then with my eBay auctions is I take my photos, I just unplug it, I slide it over, plug that into my PC, take some more pictures, slide that up right there. Really, really cool. And the company does give you a little contraption right here for keeping your lightning port nice and secure there. So that is it guys. Right there, very simple, but does the trick. Well guys, I hope you did enjoy the video and I hopefully it has helped you made an informed decision if you're gonna actually purchase this or not. I actually am super pumped about it. Again, a very, very few amount of cons, nothing really major, but it allows me to use my 16 gig iPhone without deleting photos, downloading photos, because sometimes you wanna keep photos, videos on to show your family and friends. So this small little guy here, look at my thumb, compared to that, it's about the same size with very, very thin, and this will be my new go-to travel accessory for filming on an iPhone, taking photos, Instagram, Snapchats, you guys get the picture. So again, you guys over in the UK, I'm pretty sure this company does sell it as well. And if I haven't mentioned the company, you guys have seen the logo on it. I believe you pronounce it Olala, Oala. Again, UK guys, US guys, I'll have you guys linked down below in the description box. So stay tuned for more reviews as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this has helped you out in any possible way, shape, or form, a thumbs up or a like rating in the Amazon or YouTube platform would be much appreciative. And I'll see you guys on the next review. My name's Chris. Bye-bye.